Hello, welcome to question and answer session. Today we are going to discuss December part 4 in the question and answers. So we have already discussed parts 1, 2, 3 until dates 25th. So today we will be discussing the current affairs from 26th to 31st. So let us see. Where was International Gita Mahotsav 2018 held? The 17 day International Gita Mahotsav, it has concluded recently in Kurukshetra, Haryana. This is celebrated to commemorate the birth of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, which is very important for Hindus. So to commemorate the birth of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, which is a sacred scripture. The first day of the famous 18 day battle of Kurukshetra. So from then it is celebrated. This time Mauritius was a partner country of this event and Gujarat was a partner state. So the event it has concluded in Kurukshetra, Haryana. Gujarat was a partner state and Mauritius was a partner country. On the concluding day, Mauritius president, he has announced that Gita festival will be organized in Mauritius in February 2019. So they are also going to conduct a Gita festival in uh, February 2019. Where was the India-China Film Festival during the first India-China High-Level Mechanism on Cultural and People-to-People -people Exchange organized by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting held? It was held in New Delhi. The Information and Broadcasting Ministry it has organized India-China Film Festival in New Delhi. A total of seven films including four Chinese and three Indian films they were screened during the festival. The opening film was CZ12 known as Chinese Jodiak. Who is the information and broadcasting minister? It is Rajya Vardhan Singh Rathod. Rajya Vardhan Singh Rathod. Which state government has recently decided to rename child care institutes as Jagannath Ashrams? Haryana has decided to rename child care institutes as Jagannath Ashrams. Which place in Madhya Pradesh was notified as national park recently, enabling translocation of lions from Gir in Gujarat? So Gir National Park, which is in Gujarat. So from there, they are going to translocate the Asiatic lions to which place in Madhya Pradesh? It is Kuno. So the Madhya Pradesh state government, it has declared Kuno Wildlife Sanctuary as a national park in the condition imposed by the Supreme Court recently. Asiatic lions are going to be shifted from uh, Gujarat to Madhya Pradesh. Which state cabinet announced the approval of an online system for mutation of property? West Bengal cabinet, chaired by Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee, she has announced that an online system is coming to force for mutation of property. This is to enable easy process for property mutation and also to check the illegal practices. Union Ministry for Electronics and Information Technology it has announced draft rules of what rules to enable the complete encryption system to trace unlawful activities for better national security. Draft Rules of Information Technology Intermediary Guidelines Amendment Rules 2018. They were introduced by Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology recently. So what does these speak about? So these speak about the complete encryption system to trace the unlawful activities that are happening, especially in major platforms like Facebook, Google, Twitter, Yahoo whatsapp etc so new rules are going to come into force to cut down the unlawful activities in these power ministry has mandated the use of smart prepaid electricity meters in india from which month from april 2019 the power ministry has mandated the use of smart prepaid meters so what are these smart prepaid meters these smart prepaid meters will be inducted as a part of advanced metering infrastructure solutions this transition is going to be completed in the next three years this smart meter it is a new kind of electricity meter 
this can digitally send the meter readings to the energy supplier directly for more accurate energy bills so these are going to come into force in the next three years so as we know a person will be coming and taking the meter reading for our current usage so therefore these smart meter readings are going to come they are going to automatically send the readings to the energy supplier the third dwijing festival celebration is held on the banks of which river in chirang district of assam i river this is a 12 day long festival it is celebrated on the banks of ai river in assam it is organized by assam tourism and also bodo land tourism so this started under the name of ai river winter festival so the festival is ai river winter festival so they call it as dwijing festival as well which state government has banned khalistan liberation force for its involvement in several killings bombings and other terrorist activities punjab so punjab has banned khalistan liberation force for its involvement in several killings bombings and other terrorist activities the decision it came under the unlawful activities prevention act cabinet committee on economic affairs it has approved the proposal for amendment of which act that aims at providing stringent punishment for committing sexual assault crimes on a child government has approved protection of children from sexual offenses act 2012 union minister nitin gadkari has laid foundation stones for 11 projects for yamuna regeneration under which project in new delhi it is namami gange program the name of the program is namami gange program so nitin gadkari has laid a foundation stone for 11 projects under namami gange program recently who is the head of the single member panel who has recommended creation of a new specialized units for information warfare in areas where the counter insurgency operations are being conducted ds huda ds huda is the head of the single member panel so they have recommended the creation of some specialized units for information warfare in areas where you can see the counter insurgency operations that were being conducted so it is set up by the defense ministry and also national security advisory board they have created some specialized units for information warfare in the areas so this huda panel it has recommended that some specialized units should be created national human resources commission launched toll free number and a facility to file complaints through common service center so what is the toll free number the toll free number is 14433 nhrc national human rights commission it has launched a toll free number so this is a facility to file complaints through a common service center csc the toll free number recently it was unveiled by a retired judge so now people can send their complaints and also their grievances to human rights violation through these numbers name the inventor of rasgola in whose honor a postal stamp was dedicated and a statue was also unveiled at the inauguration of bag bazaar or rasagola fest rasagola fest it recently started in kolkata mr nabin chandra das who is a founder of the sweet rasagola all of us know it is a west bengal special spongy and syrupy round shaped sweet it was invented by nabin chandra das recently a rasagola fest bago bazar o rasagola was started so there a statue and a stamp of the founder nabin chandra das was unveiled recently as we know west bengal it has won a gi tag geographical indication tag for banglar rasagola so we have also discussed this so a gi tag was given to banglar rasagola so now a rasagola fest is conducted it is the 150th year of its 
invention which state or union territory police has become the first police force in india to digitize all malkhanas across every police station under e malkhana project delhi police so the delhi police they became the first police force in the country to digitize all malkhanas so under the project e malkhana so according to this around 3 lakh plus case properties they have been encrypted in digital form so what are malkhanas malkhanas are rooms for keeping seized arms and ammunition malkhanas are the rooms for keeping seized arms and ammunition the indian railways has decided to grant how much percentage of concession in passenger fares for transgender senior citizens 40% concession so the senior citizens of transgender they are going to get 40% of concession in passenger fares going to come into force from 1st january 2019 so though a column of transgender was introduced in reservation form recently concessions were not admissible to them but now the indian railways it has granted 40% concession fares to men who are aged above 60 years and 50% of concession for women who are aged above 58 years so now transgenders also they are going to get 40% concession bhutan president recently has visited india who is the president of bhutan dr latoy sering he was on a 3 day visit to india This is Bhutan's Prime Minister's first overseas visit after assuming office in November 2018. This was also a golden jubilee year for establishing formal diplomatic relations with India and Bhutan. Which is the first state to adopt Mahila Police Volunteer Scheme, which aims to engage MPVs as a link between police and community and help women in distress. Haryana the Ministry of Women and Child Development in collaboration with Ministry of Home Affairs so both of them they are trying to launch this Mahila Police Volunteer Scheme so under this scheme the police volunteers they act as a link between the police and the communities to help the women in distress they are engaged per gram panchayat across the country so the first state to implement this is Haryana So it is proposed to be set up in every other states Gujarat Mizoram Chhattisgarh Karnataka and Madhya Pradesh Who is the author of the book Early Indians the story of our ancestors and where we came from Tony Joseph is the author of the book it was released recently The book talks about the first modern humans who reached the Indian continent 65000 years ago who went on to populate the mainland Andaman and Nicobar Islands, South Asia, etc. Name the country that withdrew from International Whaling Commission in order to pursue commercial whaling in its adjacent waters, including its exclusive economic zone from uh, July 2019. It is Japan. The Japanese government it officially announced that it is going to withdraw from International Whaling Commission. So this is going to enable Japan to pursue commercial whaling in its adjacent waters including its exclusive economic zones as we know the waters of the oceans are divided into zones from withdrawing from international whaling commission it can pursue commercial whaling in the exclusive economic zone on which river prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated the india's longest rail cum road bridge of 4.94 kilometers Bogi Bill Bridge it is river brahmaputra the prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated the india's longest rail cum road bridge of 4.94 kilometers on the river brahmaputra this is between dibrugarh and demaji districts of assam italy's mount etna which is europe's highest and most active volcano has erupted causing temporary closure of which airport on the sicily's eastern coast catania fontanarossa airport so because of the eruption of mount etna the catania fontanarossa airport was closed recently italy's mount etna is very famous 
so it is a active strato volcano which is in the east coast of italy recently which of the following island was renamed as netaji subhash chandra bos island in andaman and nicobar islands the ross island was renamed as netaji subhash chandra bos island so the modi government it has renamed total of 3 islands of andaman and nicobar so in that ross island was renamed as netaji subhash chandra bos island and neel island was renamed as shahid dweep and havelock island it was renamed as swaraj deep so shahid dweep and swaraj deep and netaji subhash chandra bos island these are the three islands that are renamed as such so this move it came to mark the 75th anniversary of netaji subhash chandra bos's historic visit to the islands so we know netaji subhash chandra bos has visited andaman and nicobar islands and he has also hoisted the flag there once so this visit it came to mark the 75th anniversary of netaji's historic visit to the islands which country approved a law to permit exports of medical marijuana israel israel's parliament recently has approved a law to permit exports of medical marijuana so this made israel after netherlands and as well as canada to take medical cannabis global marijuana is a medical drug india's first lift bridge worth how many crores is going to reconnect rameshwaram and the mainland india in 4 years 250 crores so india's first vertical lift bridge this is going to connect rameshwaram with the mainland india so ministry of railways has announced that they are going to build india's first lift bridge which is going to connect rameshwaram with mainland india this is going to be completed in the next 4 years united nations general assembly adopted two russian resolutions which have been backed by india regarding the same iis international information security so united nations general assembly it has adopted two russian resolutions on international information security recently so these were backed by india russia's resolutions were backed by india as well so hence they are important so this has been done for achieving some democratic inclusive and transparent united nations negotiation process what are the two resolutions the two resolutions are developments in the field of information and uh, telecommunications in the context of international security and also countering the use of information and communications for criminal purposes so these are the both resolutions russian resolutions which were backed by india as we know united nations general assembly is headquartered at new york united states and the president of united nations general assembly is maria fernanda espinosa so maria fernanda espinosa german authorities have given their approval for how many billion us dollars rail and road tunnel linking denmark and germany 8 billion us dollars so german authorities they are going to come up with a bridge connecting denmark as well as germany despite some environmental objections this is a 19 km link this is expected to be completed by 2024 prime minister narendra modi has launched pension management software sampan for pensioners of telecom department so expand sampan sampan which means system for accounting and management of pension system for accounting and management of pension so modi has launched a pension management software for pensioners of telecom department in the person who was suspended by table tennis federation of india ttfi due to allegations of rape against him by an ex girlfriend saumya jit ghosh table tennis federation of india has revoked the suspension of saumya jit ghosh saumya jit ghosh was suspended earlier following the allegations now the table tennis federation of india it has revoked the suspension of saumyajit ghosh directorate general of foreign trade has announced the extension of ban on import of milk and its products 
including chocolates from which country for 4 months till April 23 2019 it is from china government has extended ban on import of milk products from china for 4 months till April 23 2019 the ban it was first imposed in september 2008 and later it was extended India is the world's largest producer and consumer. It produces 150 million tons of milk annually. Uttar Pradesh is a leading state in milk production, followed by Rajasthan and then Gujarat. A Nepali citizen will not be able to spend more than how many rupees per month while paying for goods and services in India as per the new restrictions imposed by Nepal government. 1 lakh. So as per the new restrictions imposed by the Nepali government A Nepali will not be able to spend more than one lakh per month while he is paying for goods and services in India. Which country approved the issuance of its one of its kind panda bonds in Chinese currency? Pakistan. Pakistan cabinet has approved the issuance of panda bonds in Chinese currency. The Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan led cabinet has taken this decision. So the interest rate of these panda bonds is going to be 5.5 percent and above, and it is going to be determined at the time of launching. Which state government has succeeded in increasing the state revenue generation in the past two years, with a record revenue collection of 1598.49 crores during 1718, which is a new high in the last 30 years? Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh has touched a record high revenue generation during the year 2017-18 and which is a very much high revenue which was collected in the last 30 years by the state for the past 2 years it has crossed 1000 crores of revenue generation researchers of which country made the world's smallest tic tac toe game board using dynamic dna microscopic organic structures united states of america The researchers of USA, a team from California Institute of Technology, they have made the world's smallest tic-tac-toe game board. So you can play the that with toes. Turkmenistan has launched its first messaging app, Bizbadi. What is the capital of Turkmenistan? Ashgabat. The capital of Turkmenistan is Ashgabat. Turkmenistan has recently launched Bizbadi app. So this Bizbadi app it is going to exchange messages. It is going to allow the exchange of messages, files, photos and videos etc. Turkmenistan is one of the world's most isolated regimes we can say. So it has blocked the services like Twitter, Facebook. So all these will not be working there. WhatsApp Viber so all this will not be working there so it has developed its own first messaging app that is bizbadi indian coast guard has deployed two hovercrafts three interceptor vessels and a new hover port at jakahu base to provide security to the sir creek area so the sir creek area on the border of which indian state and pakistan is present The Sir Creek area is in the Kutch district of Gujarat. So the Indian Coast Guard it has deployed all these for functioning in the Sir Creek because the Sir Creek area it was used by the Pakistan infiltrators to enter the Indian territory. So to curtail this all these were introduced. Odisha is starting a new olive ridgely mass nesting site at river mouth in Odisha's Ganjam district. to lure olive ridley turtles to come over for mass nesting in 2019 bahuda rukeri ganjam the name of this it is another olive ridley nesting site which is going to come up in odisha what is this all olive ridley nesting sites so endangered olive ridley turtles so they'll come here for nesting so one more site is going to be developed so that is bahuda rukeri in Ganjam which is in Odisha Bidu navigation satellite system of which country is going to claim to be a rival of the American global positioning system GPS has started providing global services China so China has introduced a navigation satellite Bidu 
so this is going to rival the united states gps system pakistan has become the first country to use bidu system ending its reliance on gps so pakistan is going to shift to bds instead of gps india's total greenhouse emissions grew by more than how much percent between 2010 and 14 as per the official data which was released by the government that will be submitted to the secretariat of united nation framework convention on climate change 22% so india's emissions have been increased from 2010 to 14 by 22% united nations framework convention of climatic change for every 2 years it calls for a biennial report biennial which means for 2 years update report will be submitted which country successfully test fired a new hypersonic missile dubbed avangard with a speed of more than 30000 kilometers per hour russia held successful test of new hypersonic weapon system so it has an ability to fly 20 times the speed of sound and could maneuver up and down meaning that it could breach the defense systems so the name of this is avangard so it has a speed of about 30000 km per hour it was introduced by russia which public sector undertakings has emerged as the most profitable psu in 2017 18 according to a survey titled the public enterprises survey 2017 18 indian oil corporation according to the public enterprises survey 2017 18 so what is the most profitable organization that is indian oil followed by ongc and then ntpc these are the most profitable psus in the fiscal year 18 so these are the best so what are the worst performing the worst performing psus are bsnl followed by air india and then followed by mtnl Scientists of which university have developed a virtual reality 3D model of cancer cell The scientists of Cambridge University England they have developed a virtual reality 3D model of cancer cell This virtual representation of cancer cell it is going to allow the viewers to fly through tumor cells and observe them from different angles So this was introduced by Cambridge University scientists Who is the national shooter arrested along with the golf player Jyoti Randhawa by Uttar Pradesh Forest Department for poaching Mahesh Virajdar who is a international golfer and national shooter so he was arrested along with Jyoti Randhawa who became the youngest woman to win 50 World Cup sky races with victory in the slalom in the French Alps it is Michaela Shifrin So American Michaela Shifrin she became the youngest woman to win 50 World Cup sky races with a victory in slalom in French Alps In how many cities Reserve Bank of India has launched survey to capture retail payment habits in 6 cities Reserve Bank of India has launched a survey to capture retail payment habits in six cities. The Reserve Bank of India will capture payment habits of individuals in six cities. In this four are metropolitan cities. The survey is going to cover a sample of 6000 individuals from various socio-economic backgrounds across six cities with the four important metropolitan cities Mumbai, Delhi, Calcutta, Chennai. along with that is bengaluru and guwahati who won the united states kids junior golf world championship held in malaysia it is arjun bhati india's pride arjun bhati has won united states kids junior golf world championship 2018 he is a 14 year old kid he has represented india at this place and he has won it which country has hosted the world chess games for the first time saudi arabia saudi arabia has hosted world's chess games for the first time who is appointed as india's chief boxing coach ca kuttappa has been appointed as india's chief boxing coach he is a dronacharya awardee he is going to coach for the ongoing national camp 
who is the head of six member committee to review the economic capital framework of the central bank bimal jalan rbi chief bimal jalan is going to be the head of the six member committee so a six member committee was headed by former rbi chief bimal jalan so this committee it was set up to review the economic capital framework of the central bank so this committee it is going to suggest how the central bank should handle its reserves and also transfer the surplus to the government which country is to host the summer olympics in 2020 japan reserve bank of india has relaxed norms for city cooperative bank allowing its depositors to withdraw a sum not exceeding how much rupees of total balance in any deposit account against the earlier limit of 1000 the rbi has raised withdrawal limit for depositors to 5000 from 1000 rupees which small finance bank has received the reserve bank approval to operate as scheduled bank making it the fifth scheduled bank that operates from kerala it is esaf small finance bank esaf small finance bank limited it has received rbi's approval for inclusion in the second schedule of reserve bank of india act 1934 this is within 2 years of its uh, commencement of its operations so this is going to make esaf small finance bank as the fifth scheduled bank which is from kerala reserve bank of india has extended the relaxation offered to banks for offering liquidity support to non banking finance companies until march 31st 2019 so rbi has extended liquidity soap for banks to march 31st 2019 so it had allowed banks to use government securities equal to their outstanding credit to non bank lenders who won men's 10 meters air pistol trials in both senior and junior categories it is saurabh choudhary Saurabh Choudhury has won the men's 10 meter pistol trials in both senior and junior category at Dr Karni Singh shooting range so he has won 10 meters air pistol trials in both senior and junior categories who has become the highest wicket taker in the international cricket in 2018 overtaking south africa pacer kagiso rabada jaspreet bumrah So Jasprit Bumrah has ended as the highest wicket taker in the international cricket. So Jasprit Bumrah belongs to India. The 25 year old has taken 78 wickets in this year in 2018. Overtook the South Africa pacer Kagiso Rabada who has taken 77 wickets. Where was the third edition of women's national boxing championship held? It was held in Vijayanagar, Karnataka. Third edition of women's boxing championship has begun in karnataka padma shri awardee sulagatti narsamma has passed away in bengaluru what is her profession she is a social worker she has helped deliver more than 15000 babies free of charge so she was given a padma shri award so she is sulagatti narsamma she has passed away who among the following music composer has been conferred with mohammad rafi award it is lakshmi kant and usha timothy lakshmi kant and usha timothy both of them they were conferred with mohammad rafi award who is crowned with mrs india 2018 title at the mrs india my identity beauty pageant 2018 finale which was held in new delhi divya patidar joshi madhya pradesh divya patidar joshi has been crowned with mrs india title 2018 in new delhi recently who has been named as the most admired women by americans according to an annual poll conducted by gallup michelle obama is the most admired woman and who is the most admired man it is the counterpart barack obama according to the survey Padma Shri awardee Hamidi Kashmiri passed away recently he was a writer educationalist poet and a scholar Padma Shri award he has also received Galib award and Sahitya Academy award who has been appointed as a acting chief justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court it is justice Chagari Pravin Kumar Justice Chagari Pravin Kumar has been appointed as the acting chief justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court. 
so as we know andhra pradesh state which was bifurcated on 2nd june 2014 is going to have its own high court with its new capital at amravati and the hyderabad high court shall be the high court for telangana only the first chief justice of high court of andhra pradesh is justice chagari pravin kumar nirendrana chakrabarti died following a cardiac arrest in kolkata what was his profession he was a poet by profession his first book of poems nil nirjona it was published in 1954 he is a recipient of sahitya academy award and also ananda puraskar he was also conferred with banga vibhushan honor in 2017 by the west bengal government name the first female speaker of fizi's parliament who has passed away recently it is dr jiko luveni sitarist manju mehta was conferred with tansen samman 2018 at the tansen music festival in gwalior by madhya pradesh government she plays which instrument she is a sitar player who became the first indian to win junior debate championship at the world scholars cup held at yale university usa adi sai vijay karan has become the first indian to win the top debater in the world title he is a 13 year old he became the first indian to win this who is elected as a new president of madagascar razo elina andri razo elina who was a ex president has won the madagascar election recently and has become the new president what is the capital of madagascar it is antanana rivo Name the film produced directed and scripted by Indian Revenue Officer Satyamam Datta that received best short documentary film award in Asia Southeast International Short Film Festival at Phnom Penh in Cambodia Finding Beauty in Garbage the name of the documentary film is Finding Beauty in Garbage Oscar winner Norman Gimbel passed away recently he was a lyricist He has also won Grammy award so he has passed away recently That's all in the December part 4 bulletin please also refer to December monthly thank you